This video is going to show how to create shadows and layer color based off of knowledge from the color wheel. The way that I will be creating shadows will be directly based off of the color wheel. Here's my surrealist color wheel. I'll be combining complementary colors to create shadows that feel like they are truly part of the object and unified in color. This knowledge of combining complements is something you can carry forward into your own color mixing. I'm starting my drawing off in pencil. Before I start committing with color pencil, I want to place my shapes in graphite and make sure I like my composition. I'm also lining up my objects with my third lines and considering the golden ratio. After you've mapped in the major contour lines and like the placement of things within your composition, then you can begin layering in color pencil. My pair is red. To create the shadows for my pair, I'm layering together red and green. The green both neutralizes the red and creates darker shades to achieve the shadows. In shadows where I want richer value, I'm pressing harder with my color pencil and layering more. I do this both in the core shadows and occlusion shadows. Working color pencil takes patience and layering. We are still working from dark to light and from general to specific. Pay attention to the actual color and value you are seeing in your objects. The pair in the light is quite chromatic, rich, and warm. To create this, I am layering together red and orange. The light is chromatic, don't add the complement there. The green, the complement would neutralize that. The highlight is the bright white of the paper. The apple is primarily a warm yellow green and yellow. To create the shadows, I added red to green, and then I pushed that more green. The lights are made more chromatic and warm with yellow. The highlights, just like the pair, are again the white of the paper. No matter the object you are drawing, you want to begin by asking yourself, what is the local color I am dealing with here? In other words, what is the color of this object under a light? Once you've identified the local color, you can know how to mix the shadows for that object by thinking back to the color wheel. What is your color's complement? Use that complementary color to create dynamic shadows that feel unified with the object's color. It is important when you are working in color to still have strong value structure. How do you check that? Squint. Squint at your drawing, Squint at your reference. Do the lights and darks pop or does everything look gray? If the value structure is unclear when you squint, this tells you that you may need to intensify your dark values and your light values.